try it together. Three, two, one. Loop fam. No, you're going to do it on three, two, one. Three, two, one. Loop fam. No, no. So here we go again today. Just, uh, just a small couple hours of thrifting and yard sailing. Um, just sort of our regular scheduled time to do this, to do some sourcing. Um, Thursdays is the, generally the start of yard sale weekend, at least in our area. I don't know about you guys. Let me know in the comments below if that's what you see in your area. Um, I normally think of yard sales as being a Friday, Saturday thing, but out here it's a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday thing. Uh, we like the Thursdays. Um, because typically it's a bit less people and all the stuff is out there fresh so we typically get the best picks so uh, we're gonna hit up a thrift store and a yard sale today and see what goes down let's get it you guys ready let's go Hey y'all, we're gonna do a little segment called Tip of the Day, where I tell you one really specific focus tip for you and your eBay side hustle. Tip number one, be efficient. If you're working on a side hustle, that means you probably have a full-time job. And if you have a full-time job, that means you have less time to give to eBay. So what you wanna do is you wanna get efficient. So let's say this, get off your nine to five, on your way home, there's a thrift store between your house and your work. Go to it. And go to it every day that you go to work for about 20 minutes a day. Go to the shoes, go to the jackets, go to the electronics, whatever you, whatever is your focus, go there. Or maybe there's two and you can, you can go to one one day, one the other day. But do it short, sweet. Get used to it, get used to the prices, get used to the types of items that they generally put out. Get used to how the store is laid out and be efficient. If you only you walk out with one, two, three things, that's all you really need. And if you're doing a, you know, three to five, maybe even 10 times your money, you're gonna come out with there with an, enough money to be worth your time. If you only spend half an hour and you made a hundred bucks, how much did you just pay yourself per hour? A lot of money. Be consistent, start small. With us, we have a couple of routes. We have one thrift store we go to every day. But we only spend about 20 to 25 minutes in there on a regular, on a given day. We can do it within our normal schedule and we can still do my full-time job. So the tip of the day is be efficient. Don't try to do everything in one day, but be consistent. Let's get to the haul portion now where I show you things we bought recently that we're gonna sell on eBay that might help you when you're out in the trenches. First off, we've got these vintage highways. You can tell they're highways. They've got this like taper kind of tapers up and make you know if you're if you're really into jeans you'll know this but if you're trying to do jeans find a girl that can help you high-waisted jeans now these are i i have a hard time with this brand but it says modern basics it's like sag on or something but you can say this is a stone wash uh tapered uh high high-waist jean vintage this is definitely a vintage piece 
this will probably sell 25 bucks pretty easily. It's a little bit of a small size. You can see the waist, pretty small. Uh, it'll still sell. All right, now you sports fans, check this out, because this is pretty cool. This is something to be on the lookout for. B-O-L-O, -O, be on lookout. The brand is Starter. Vintage Starter pieces like this. This is an Auburn University piece. It's just like a pullover, like windbreaker type thing. It's got the all embroidered. This vintage stuff, while well, you probably wore it if you're you know, older like me, you probably wore some of this stuff in the 90s. This stuff is in, it's hot, it's interesting. I've sold probably five Starter big coats for 80 bucks or more. There's money in vintage Starter. Um, and this vintage starter piece, um, we'll probably get about $35 to $30 for. Theme alert! Denim. This, ladies and gentlemen, is like a jumper something. I don't know. Girl, you girls, you know what, you, what I'm talking about. But it's a skirt, it's denim, it's vintage, and it's Tommy Hilfiger. You see it's got the flag embellishments. This is what sells this stuff. This stuff is hot right now. Denim, 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 denim is, is, is back. back. We'll probably get... Uh, uh, 30 bucks for this is my guess. Roll those letters. B-O-L-O. -O, because we've got something you should look for. Oh wait, there's no tag. How do I know what this is? I can't tell what this is. This is how you can tell what this is. I hope you can see this. This is a little like horseshoe or a little omega sign. Greek letter omega. And this is for Lulu Lemon. And this is a Lulu Lemon men's polo. And I looked up comps for this thing. Last one sold for 40 bucks. So we're gonna get about 40 bucks, probably minus shipping, but that's all good. Theme alert! Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, this is a vintage Levi jeans. You can see it's got this red tag. A long sleeve shirt. I looked at comp on this, we had 30 bucks. Levi's obviously is a legendary denim company. Um, this has got these sweet like, em like embossed metal buttons thirty dollars maybe more there wasn't there was not there was not a whole lot of competition on this on the comps so might get 35 who knows denim 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 a medium so not the greatest size but we'll make it do denim 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 more denim yeah we got more denim here this is a vintage calvin klein i believe this is a high waist it's a pretty high waist i think so we'll see it was three dollars and fifty cents good score good vintage Gene Company. More denim. All right, breaking with the denim mold. We've got some Echo. E C C O. Echo, like chocka boots. These are size uh, 41. They've got the Echo Light. These are men's, I believe. And these will probably sell 30 to 35. Um, they're in great condition. I might still polish them up just a little bit. I got some brown polish. I might polish them up. Just give them extra shine, help sell them quicker. And those are the only shoes we got today. And that's the end. I'm gonna let you guys go, but be on the lookout. I've got a couple other videos coming up out of here. We're gonna do some uh, more specific topic videos where we go over specific topics about thrifting. It won't necessarily just be thrift hauls and such like that. Uh, it'll be a little bit more uh, specifically tailored to individual ideas, concepts, or needs. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're going to be filling this channel up with some great content. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, we're enjoying making it. My kids are enjoying the, all the attention they're getting. So we're going to keep it going. Keep videos coming. Keep helping you guys make money. We'll see you on the other side.